I have a playlist on my channel where I spend a lot of time talking about Jira admin activities. So, with things that you can do with uh, schemes and configurations and basically native Jira configurations. And I think if you know how Jira works really well, I think uh, that will give you a lot of uh, skills that you can use in uh, uh, maybe becoming a Jira consultant or maybe you want to do some automation using Scriptner for Jira. So I think uh, even for let us say developing apps or maybe you want to become a Jira trainer for example. I did a lot of Jira trainings uh, long back. But the, the point here is that I wanted to basically tell you that if you want to make a career in this domain Atlassian or maybe Jira uh, just try to understand what the tool can do for you. Now talking about Jira admin activities, um, there is one one specific uh, area that I want to focus on and I will be creating uh, more videos on, on this particular uh, area and that is the workflows. Now workflows as you all know is basically a way to define a process you can basically define uh, a process that you already have in the company using uh, the workflows and uh, when it comes to workflows in a workflow we have different states and you can define uh, these arrows that will go from one state to another state this this is nothing but a transition now people who have studied uh, computer science uh, you can uh, relate it to a state diagram where you have different states and you have different uh, routes that you can take for, uh, for for basically going to a different state. Now, talking about uh, what I want to discuss today in this video, I want to start with, uh, I don't really want to spend too much time talking about how to design a workflow because I think these things are quite uh, simple. Um, although I may create uh, a video, a separate video on just uh, doing the fundamentals of uh, how to create a workflow and uh, how to define schemes but I think there are plenty of other videos and uh, material on uh, YouTube. What I want to focus on is that I want to basically cover uh, what all you can do with the workflows when it comes to adding a condition or adding a validator, post function, triggers for example. So these things will uh, will basically help you in doing a lot more with your Jira instance. Now talking about conditions, I want to of course start with something today and uh, that something is uh, adding a simple condition. Now when you're working in the when you're working with workflows and uh, when you are basically defining uh, these uh, different states and transitions, a condition will help you in um, basically um, it will basically either allow you or any other user to make a transition or not. So if you look at this particular workflow right now the status is waiting for support and from waiting for support you can either go to in progress or you can go to maybe uh, escalate it and, and so on. You can also can cancel the request. So basically my requirement is very simple. Let us say you are a Jira administrator and you receive this requirement from the stakeholders that uh, we only want to allow people who are part of a specific uh, project role to make a transition number one and number two only so this condition has to be true plus only the current assignee of the issue can make a transition from waiting for support to in progress so of course we are talking about Jira service desk and uh, this can be applicable for uh, maybe your uh, ITSM based projects but again um, it is just an example you can apply this in uh, any uh, project in Jira. The, the good thing about uh, Jira workflows for example is that these concepts are universal universal within Jira. I mean you can be using Jira core or Jira software or Jira service desk. Uh, these things are applicable everywhere. Now for this example I will first take a look at my roles because we need to have some roles and uh, let us see if we have a role like uh, maybe maybe agent I, I believe we should have something like that 
So let us see if uh, we can use a role. So I'll go to the roles, users and roles. And uh, <clears throat> right now there is no <laughs> there is no role defined. But what I will do, I will uh, click on this button. And uh, we have a role called uh, service test team. So let me add just myself. So I am uh, admin. I am the uh, I'm the user, and I'm part of this uh, part of this role called uh, service test team. Now only people who are part of this uh, service test team should be able to make a transition, and they should also be the current assignee. So let us see how it how it works. So I'll go to the workflow, and uh, the workflow we want to modify. I think the workflow that we were looking at was for uh, I think service request. Let me just confirm. So if I open the issue separately, I can validate. But I am now working on a Jira instance which is local and uh, it is using the uh, the uh, H H SQL database and it is not really the, the fastest Jira instance I know. But of course, it is for local development, so it is fine. So this is a uh, definitely service request, and what I'll do, I'll go, I'll go to the workflow, and I will modify the workflow for uh, service request. So for modifying the workflow, you can click on the edit here, and just be careful that you know this workflow is not being used by any other project. It can be, but any change that you do can also impact other projects. And I will modify the transition, which is waiting for support to in progress and I will add a condition and when you add a condition um, we have to add two conditions if you remember do you remember the conditions let me try to remember so the first condition was the assignee that only the current assignee should be able to make this transition and when you add a condition if the condition is not true then this transition won't, won't, won't even appear although when you look at the workflow here so let us say if you are you are part of the service test team, but you are not the assignee. So you should see. I mean, when you take a look at the workflow, you can uh, you, you you can wonder. You can probably ask someone why I am not able to see this transition uh, because you are not the assignee. So uh, we can uh, definitely add these two conditions. So the first condition is user. Um, so let us first add the assignee condition. Only assignee condition and uh, click on the add and by the way if you are uh, and i'm using a uh, jira suite utilities app because people ask me this question why why don't you talk about jira suite utilities so i'm talking about it right now and i will be using it in uh, these kind of videos where i'm doing nothing but jira administration so this is this is one condition let us add maybe uh, one more so we will have two conditions and the second condition is that user is in the project role and um, the user should be in the service test team so this is uh, the second condition that we are adding and we have uh, two conditions and by the way um, you can also add a grouped condition but uh, right now it says all of the following conditions should be true uh, or you can also change it to any so for the timing let us keep it as all and i'll uh, publish the workflow Make sure you publish the workflow, and when you publish the workflow, you have to you have the option to either save the backup. I don't want to save a backup, so I I trust myself. So let us uh, now test the workflow. If I go to the issue, and uh, right now the issue is not assigned to anyone, although I'm part of the service desk team. Let me just refresh the page, the view issue page, and uh, I don't see the workflow transition, which is uh, a good thing and a bad thing good thing because uh, the condition is working i guess and the bad thing is that i can't make a transition and i feel sad but now i realize that uh, i can also assign the issue to myself or i can ask someone to assign the issue to me but if you are wondering how to troubleshoot these things you can always take a look at the permission helper so if you open this uh, permission helper and uh, you basically can figure out for some reason it is not working okay so the, the permission helper link is not working in my uh, instance but let me try to find the 
permission helper and uh, yep yeah, so admin uh so so permission helper may not be the because uh, let me check <clears throat> because this uh, permission helper might not be the best uh, solution here to figure out what is wrong because it will look for the permission let me just it has been a while uh, when I it has been a while since I used this uh, feature here so maybe not I think uh, permission helper can be used when uh, I believe in this case when you are using the permissions we have the permissions that we know but I think it is the workflow stopping us from doing something in the condition so anyways let, let us assign the issue to uh, myself and I'll click on the assign to me and uh, hopefully the moment I assign it to me to myself I should see the button on top and that is uh, in progress and now we can uh, make a transition because the condition both the conditions are now true we can also uh, one tip when you're using workflows and conditions or maybe validators we uh, let, let us you know not cover each and everything in one video uh, one small tip is that if you're using first of all if you're working with the workflows don't over complicate your workflows do not create uh, like a lot of states and transitions keep it simple so that you can easily manage it users can also easily see what is happening in the workflow don't create too many conditions don't create uh, uh, too many grouped conditions because it will uh, complicate things keep it simple keep it very straightforward and uh, trust your users they are not really they know what you're doing what they're doing but um, if you over complicate things if you if you over engineer this thing it will uh, be difficult for everyone it will be difficult for the users it will be difficult for you to manage it or maybe a new Jira administrator so keep things simple just a small tip so we'll continue looking at you know different aspects of uh, workflows i want to focus on workflows because i think a uh, few things in G although Jira administration is not very difficult but there are a few aspects like workflows especially that can be uh, that requires a separate set of videos and that is what I'm trying to do uh, with my with my videos I'm, I'm trying to spend some time uh, covering the workflow part so I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much